Okay, guys, hey, um, what's worse than uh, um, getting old with um, old eyes? Basically, it's this, uh, an Asian getting old with old eyes. Because, um, hey, look, we've got small eyes to begin with. And as we age, um, we get more, uh, I guess, smaller eyes, slantier eyes. Um, that's the reality of the culture where we are, we're in. So look, um, I'm closer towards 50 than I am 40. And um, look, I'm getting kind of old and saggy. And my eyes are kind of heavy. So what are we going to do about things? Well, there's a couple of things I see and what I don't like. First of all, if you look over here when I smile, do I get lines at rest? No, I don't. Um, that's because I've been Botox. So do I look natural? Yeah. Do I have lines? No, I don't. So, hey, do I need to have any more Botox or any Botox there at all? The answer is no. What I need or what I think I need is basically this bit here. See this bit? It's excess skin over here, which is lax. So I've got some skin laxity in my lower eyelids. Every time I smile or do this, I've got some, yeah, skin laxity, which I can actually uh, do without. The other thing which I don't like is over here you can see I'm really, really heavy. And if I can have some kind of energy device to give me some collagen contraction on my upper eyelids up here, I can get a little bit more opening of my eyes up here um, and make me feel or look less tired really uh, and also open up my eyes. Uh, the other thing which would help as well um, it's actually my brows. If you can see where my brows are sitting, if I can get them up just a tiny little bit up here, that can help as well. So uh, it's, uh, when I look at the eye, I actually look at the eye complex, not just looking at the eye itself. I look at the skin surrounding the eye. So it's right, the crow's feet down here, the lower lid, the upper lid, together with the brow complex, and that's what I consider eye rejuvenation. So I think for me, what I need, um, brows a little bit higher, eyelid opening a little bit bigger so it's you can see how it's hooded and it's just not a good look um, skin a little bit tighter over here and um, you can see I've got lost collagen over here every time I smile you get that crinkle over there Botox is not going to fix that it's going to make that worse actually so I need some collagen stimulation um, and also sometimes if I can get someone who's good enough this is what I normally do as well is I can get someone to Botox me just here Reason being is that when I smile, this is called a hypertrophic um, orbicularis oculi. So in other words, I've got muscles here which are really strong, which contributes to the eye bag as well. Part of the um, aging process is the loss of volume around here as well. In other words, um, loss of fat, and that gives me um, a tired look. So if I can get someone skilled enough, um, I do this, but I can't do this to myself. I do this three, four times a day to people, but not to myself. A little bit of filler over here in the tear trough area, just a tiny bit there, and that will help reduce the um, line which I have here as well. We only need, well, I only place about 0.1 mil of um, dermal filler, something like Volbella or Restylane around that area. So I think I need multiple treatments, um, and I'll show you how it's done step by step and the end results. Okay, so you can see my eyes now at rest, kind of heavy. Um, when I smile, this is what I look like. Don't quite like it, and I'm going to do something about it. So stay tuned, and um, I'll show you the before and after. I, I illustrated my problems earlier on this day, and um, today we're going to get things rectified, as in um, my eyelids done, um, opened up, and um, we're going to use what's known as altherapy, or um, yeah. I'll therapy. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, we're going to use several, several different kinds of transducers and the transducers I'm going to use will be a 1.5 under my eyes, probably a 3 and a 4.5 on my forehead. And what I'm trying to achieve with this is basically opening of my eyes, um, decrease in my um, hooding and basically collagen stimulation underneath my eyes. So we've got some baseline photos, you've got my baseline videos. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do this myself. I can't do this myself. I have um, Adriana. Hi. Hey. Hi. Okay, so Adriana is, um, look, she's super cool and she's one of, from what I understand, she's one of the best therapists there is in Australia. So she's, I've, I'm Thank entrusting you. her, I'm <laughs> entrusting her with, um, with, my, with my eyes and eyelids. Um, and we'll be doing this treatment very shortly. Okay, so um, hang tight. I'll show you how it's done. 
and I'll show you the before and after results. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using Altherapy. Altherapy basically is the newest generation of um, devices used to stimulate collagen. The beauty about this um, device compared to other devices is that we've got it's ultrasound guided. Uh, and we're using what's known as HIFU, H-I-F-U, High Intensity Focus Ultrasound. This is a newer generation device compared to something like Thermage, which I think is called first generation. Do I own a Thermage? Yes, I do. Do I want a Thermage on my face? Probably not. Why? Because I believe that Altherapy um, using a fourth generation device is probably the best. Um, and... Um, yeah, I probably want the best for my face, so that's the reason why we're actually using um, this um, device. So, um, this can be controlled. Adriana's doing the treatment. Um, we have different transducers here, um, and the transducers are basically the um, diameter of the, um, of the uh, delivery system. And we can adjust everything in, in accordance both to the diameter, but also the depth, am I correct? Mm -hmm, yeah, so we can actually use an ultrasound to actually see the depth and we can dial it in exactly to the depth of which the um, energy device is uh, delivered. So what we want to do is we want to stimulate collagen. So the way we do that is we want to actually denature collagen uh, and we want to heat up the dermal layer between 65 to 67 degrees Celsius. That way we break down the collagen um, and stimulate the fibroblast which should give me a contraction on my lids. Um, so we'll see how it's done. So we're just marking up where the brow sits. So marking off where the pupillary line is. I'm putting some X's over where the frontalis sits because we're not going to be treating on the forehead. Okay guys, I'll talk, I'll talk you through this. From an aesthetic point of view from a male, what we want to do is have the brow sit horizontal. So we can do uh, a couple of things. We can use um, energy devices to help lift the brow. We can do brow lifts. Um, we can even trim the brow, pluck the brow. Um, so simple things like that. We can use fillers. We can use a lot of things to actually um, elevate the brow or make it sit in a position where aesthetically it's more pleasing. Uh, for me, I want some elevation because I have both brow ptosis, a slight brow ptosis. In other words, brow um, dropping down and then also an eyelid ptosis, uh, which I absolutely hate. So hopefully this will address um, both issues um, in the one treatment. So I'm going to pop some gel on. So basically, um, Adriana, the gels, um, you're using that as an ultrasound gel to see the depth, am I correct? To see the depth, yeah. we've got live visualization. Cool, cool. And that's what we need to conduct the treatment. Cool. So the great thing about this, guys, is that we've got live visualization, so we can see how deep my um, the, between my skin and my muscle layer is. Yeah, so that green line there is the indication of the depth that we're treating, and everything above that point. Cool. So you can see why this is an exact treatment compared to RF, which is basically hit and miss. Yep. Okay, we count three, one, two, and three. How did that feel? Um, probably zero out of ten. Awesome. One out of ten. Uh, two out of ten pain. Three out of ten pain. Slightly accumulative. Yeah, probably two. It feels more warmth than anything else, um, and I can actually feel the lines, as you're actually laying across the lines, I can actually feel it go across horizontally. Yeah, that, are you, is there a frontalis nerve there, over there somewhere, temporal nerve? The notch through here? Uh, yeah, that's a superorbital nerve. And you've got your temporal through here? Yep, temporal through there. So, so that's so, where so, we've so off. Yep, so we're, that's not where we're treating, no. so that, that's great. So look, uh, realistically, two to three out of ten when it comes to pain. A little bit stingier up on towards the end of the lines.
Yeah, my brother, I can I can publicly announce this, my brother Ian Lim, who's the CEO of FJ Benjamin, had this treatment done and he said it was the most painful thing ever. Um, younger brothers are worse, so can't tolerate that. Older brother always wins, so Ian got you on this one. Live on YouTube, mate. So what transducer are you using? What size here, uh, Adriana? I'm using the 3mm. Yep, what's the reason for that? Uh, the reason for that is because of the shallow bone that we've got through there, so we yep. can't go any deeper than that generally, but yep. I am going to give it a go with the 45 mm Okay. You think there's a difference between males and females when it comes to frontal bossing? Because um, I, you know, for males we've got um, bone that's bossed before, in other words, more prominent bone. Um, yes. Yeah. There tends to be a little bit more flesh and bone in, yep. brown. Yeah. For? Yep. For males or for females? Males, for, for males, males yeah. Yes. Yeah. So definitely for males you can yeah, I mean you can see frontal bossing is something which we have. Uh, we're more prominent with our um, with our orbital um, rim and crest together with bossing of our skull. It's the difference between males and females by the way. Nothing to do with the size of our brain or anything, but <laughs> right on bone I can see it on the screen yep so after three one two three yeah that's probably five out of ten that's going on six six out of ten so pain wise yeah it's getting there okay yep All that's right. fine perfect so we're doing the other side cool Hey guys, um, so now it's been three months, three months after my old therapy. Uh, I'm not holding my brows up nor my lids. This is what I look like now. Um, <laughs> have I improved? I think I have. There's been approximately, um, uh, if I were to measure it, about a one millimeter elevation of my um, upper lid. So if you look at the before and after pics, I'm actually really, really happy. Um, look. It's a subtle improvement, but it's opened up my eyes. Yes, I do need treatment down here, ideally, but um, a simple treatment like our therapy with zero downtime uh, can give pleasing results. So am I happy? Absolutely. Um, I'll show you another pic of my mum. Uh, we did my mum at the same time uh, uh, on that day, uh, as she's improved a lot. The more skin laxity you have, um, the better the results. So when we're doing old therapy, it's very important. It's not only the device, it's also the uh, operator. So it's operator dependent as well. So always choose a board certified derm or plastic surgeon to actually um, help with that treatment. Okay, so this is my mum. She's not an ideal candidate, but we thought we'll give it a go. Look at the heavy jowling and her features. Um, so here we are performing old therapy in the standardized um, manner. So I'm not exceeding the company guidelines with this. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Um, so you can see the before with heavy jowling and three months later. So look at this three months later. We've got a good improvement. Um, she's extremely happy. And this is me in June of 2016. Look at my upper eyelids both sides and look at my eyelids now. This is September 2016. And we do a comparison side by side you can see the marked improvement of my eye opening. Am I happy? Absolutely. All I need to do now is fix my eye bags and I'm happy. Hey guys, look, thanks very much for watching this rather long video. Um, I try to do educational videos and I would love you to subscribe for more information. I post a video up every Saturday, um, Brisbane time in Australia. Um, the other thing as well is that I am on Instagram, so I try to post uh, maybe two or three videos um, a week. Uh, so if you're really bored uh, and you want to learn something new, follow me on Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more information. Thanks. Bye.